What's going on, everybody? Today we're going to be playing Rage Racer. This is the Japanese version of the PS1 game Rage Racer. If you're familiar with the Rage Racer series, I think this sits at Rage Racer 3. If you didn't number their early games, it wasn't until Rage Racer 4. <clears throat> um, another great game. I had this one for the PS1. Actually, I don't, I don't know if I owned it so much as I borrowed it like really long term from my buddy Andy. There Rage we go. Racer. Oh, that's a lot, awful lot of English. Pretty sweet. I got lucky and I found uh, a lot of these games um, for very inexpensive. Rage Racer. The deep, primitive, roaring exhaust notes tin. I don't think we had a voiceover for this in English. Of those version. have become known as Rage Racers. <laughs> for good reason. But anyway, um. The original Ridge, uh, Ridge Racer and then Ridge Racer Revolution. I bought both of those for pennies on the dollar. Can't remember how much I paid for this one. Wasn't a lot though. Less than 10 bucks. So the big innovation here was they added this sort of pre-Gran pre Turismo sort of thing where you can buy cars. You can't upgrade them once you have them. I mean, you can change some settings. Can you upgrade them? Maybe you can. Oh yes, you can. You can do two knobs. So a very rudimentary um, um, stuff there, but I always thought it was really cool. So, car shop. Uh oh. This is running off a CD. <laughs> so we've got three companies, Age, Lizard, and Asoluto. I guess Asoluto comes later. But basically, the Age cars are um, they're handling focused, and these are these are uh, acceleration focused. Then there's a third car that's top speed focused, but I don't think you get that out of the gate. Uh, and the Nade Esperanza, which I believe is just uh, its own thing. I always like painting the car blue, but I'm not going to worry about this time. Let's just get. Get out. Racers, start your engines and let's get it on. The song here, my buddy and I made fun of for decades. Blip, Three, blip, blip, two, blip. one, go. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be showing them, don't you worry. So, one of the things that's really weird about this game is uh, the way the transmission works. You have, ma oh, you have manual or automatic transmission, and at the beginning, you can choose between either one. Um, and then the late in the game, uh, they make it so that the, the best cars are only available in manual transmission. Oh. So if you want to like play it to the end, then you're going to have to figure out manual transmission, which is not the worst thing in the world. <clears throat> But when I was a kid, I didn't know that. So I got really far into the game, and I was like, oh, now i got to figure out how gear switching works. And I'm a kid, so let's try it. And it just wasn't good. My recommendation would be do manual from the very beginning, so that you can get used to it when the races are running at a slow pace. Um, and then once you get to those upper bracket races, it'll feel really natural. Um, the entire uh, game takes place on one uh, track, but the track is partitioned off in four different uh, ooh, in four different courses. So it feels more like four, but it's it's they rendered one big 3D uh, environment. It looks good though. The the Ridge Racer games all look great still. The one thing I'm interested in is how the, uh, the billboards are different because when things move from, you know, uh, Japan to America, that's a, like a key place where, not, not just censorship, but like if they're advertising products that don't make sense or something like that. Um, I remember this game had like billboards in it for other Namco games, so it would make sense when they're localizing it to, yeah, I'm talking about that. It would make sense when they're localizing it to like, you know, update that stuff a little bit. Here, slow down just a wee bit. There we go. Nice, 
nice and easy. I don't even know you. Don't talk to me that way. Alright, up we go. Up we go. Now that I'm, I'm keeping it, here's the big hairpin. Not too bad. I touched the wall, but it could be worse. That hairpin right there is the reason I would always go for the, the handling based glasses. See, that was a billboard for Time Crisis, right? Time Crisis 2? I'm positive the, uh, the English version did not have that. What I remember the most uh, was billboards for uh, Ace Combat. With Ace Combat 2, which I think came out around, around the same time, or maybe a little bit earlier. <clears throat> Never did get into Ace Combat. My father-in-law did, though. So I ended up getting... I think it was just the second, the second game. I got one of those games, uh, you know, the Japanese PS1 game, like a lot of the games I get these days. But I remember it being much less playable. Like, this game, this is the Japanese version, and if you look, there's nothing but English in the head that was played. Um, and I was able to completely navigate the like the car selection and tune up and all of that in English, but Ace Combat was not that way. I bet you could still play it, but get ready to get your cell phone out and use Google Translate. Figure out which one's the, uh, the, the start button. Okay, here comes the big turn. Let's see if I can do it better than last time. I'm not ready to teach him the lesson. Stop! That's another thing, the voice of the lady is so funny. After the race, I'll to start another one. When you end up going the wrong direction, the thing she says is hilarious. Oh, this is the okay. final stretch, and that's the last stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! And by seriously, I mean, it's been around so cool. Second, not too bad. Not too bad. Next time, first place is yours. <clears throat> Look at that. So it's like 4,000 for a new car, and I just picked up 160 there. Mm. <laughs> so that's Rage Racer. Um, it's it was a, it was a good game. You now looking back, you'd think that once Gran Turismo came out, this just fell by the wayside, and maybe like in terms of sales, that's what happened. But Gran Turismo always had input lag on the PS1, and this game never did. So if you're gonna go back to the PS1 and try a racing sim, I would recommend this over Gran Turismo any day of the week. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next.